the Mayflower 400 is on a collision course. A small boat is in its path. But its cameras see the threat and its artificial intelligence plots a new course. Collision avoided. It's a good result for software engineer Matthew Shaw, who's monitoring this sea trial. That's uh, very good to see, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of work and development been put into all of the software and it's nice to sort of see it work in, in a real life situation. The Mayflower 400 team hope it will be the first unmanned vessel to navigate across the Atlantic Ocean. Following in the wake of its namesake, which took settlers from England to America 400 years ago, it will sail from Plymouth, UK to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Myrwin is helping make final adjustments and says there's a lot of work still to do before the ship sails in May. It's possible, it's just a bit of a struggle that we're still in the, tri in the trials area so we haven't been able to go out in full choppy ocean waves, wind, rain, the full sort of worst case scenario stuff hasn't been achieved yet. As space for a crew isn't needed, the inside of the ship is cramped. But there will be room for several science experiments, measuring sea levels, the chemical content of the ocean and recording audio to track whale populations. The hope is that autonomous ships will allow collection of much more data than manned vessels alone. If we can do that, remaining safe in terms of other people on the ocean, other ships on the ocean, and also dealing with whatever the ocean can throw at us from a weather perspective, the AI systems can do that. That's a, a huge move forward into reducing the cost of going to sea to collect the data that we need to understand the planet better. And that's really the ultimate goal. The ship will be monitored from land using the cameras and sensors aboard and can be remotely controlled in an emergency. The AI captain has been trained using thousands of images and collision avoidance rules that it gradually learns from. We don't have to show her every single boat she'll ever see for her to know that that particular boat is a boat. There are common features and that applies to um, the decisions she makes as well. So there are common features in the types of data that she can apply to all the scenarios she's in. The team say they're not looking into the commercial applications of the technology, but if the three-week voyage is a success, the Mayflower 400 could sail into the history books just like its historic predecessor.